Hey, I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. <laughs> hey, hey, May, May. Totally, what's up, dude? Was thinking about going to jail. Like, you're afraid of going? I'd probably have to join a prison gang. Yeah. I don't want to join a prison gang. Right. I told Angus about this. Your fear of prison gangs? And he said, Prison gangs are notoriously problematic. Yeah, that sounds like Angus. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. It's time for mechanics. The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the helmets the fascists were wearing? Ah, no, nah, wrong war. And wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? You're up for a crime. Boy, am I ever. I, I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Ah, oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. So what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. Really, I thought you were a fox. Range will clear it up. Whoever moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. F that car up, Private Borowski. So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Is this like that thing where the people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Mm. So, we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. <laughs> We've established that May is not a fan of the military. I ain't in your army. You've been drafted. That's like, very unjust. The world ain't just, Private Borowski. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, it's got a tree growing through it. Why aren't you helping? I'm carrying the battery all the way back. Division of Labor. You get the fun part anyways. True. Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah! I do love to smash. Yeah, destroy the fascist car. Onward, revolution, yeah! Your time has come, car. Say your prayers. Excellent work. Thank you, I agree. You wanna do the honors? Am I gonna get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... Do you wanna do it or not? I do. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Oh, I can just brush them aside, I don't need to grab them. There we go. I don't know anything about batteries or 
electronics, so we're just gonna... Yeah. Expected result. Yeah! Whoa! Hey, Sharkle. Sharkle! Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? We've been through so much together, May. The good times, the bad times, the porn adware fiasco. That weekend you tried to change the operating system. You're right, we have been through a lot together. Charcoal, am I dead? No. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. You must go back. You are meant for great things. Really? Not really, no. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie here. I appreciate it. This is awkward. Don't feel bad, Sharkle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh shit. You okay? No. How long was I out? Like, five seconds? Oh, weird. Time, like, stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like, wearing the trophy. So you admit that it is a fascist helmet? No, I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so. Wait, question. Shoot. What the hell is that? The thing? Yes, obviously the thing. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters they used to have at the Food Donkey? I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Why the hell did you get it? You know, Steve Scriggins. Oh, this sounds like a time. The guy who locked that substitute teacher in the supply closet? Nah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over longest night break. Survived by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But, he's been hanging out with the food donkey since it's been shut down. And he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes. And they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, no, that's a phobia. That, that's one that makes sense, at least. What are we doing again? Ugh, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well, well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. And it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it.
Jeez. That looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds. Dude, come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, copy DM. Copy DM sounds like a fish. A fish that tells you to live your damn life. Okay, fine. What are we doing? Now is the best part. We are gonna put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. A woo. A woo. Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Oh boy, okay. Let's see how this all plays out then. So I'm guessing that's an arm. And that's an arm. But it looks like we can attach something to it. Let's give it a cleaver. Yeah, that seems seems reasonable. Yeah, this, <laughs> let's just go full Five Nights at Freddy's, I suppose. And we can put feet on them. That's apparently a complete robot, but I'm not, not nearly done yet. And I've said it a million times before while playing this game. I love all the little mini games. They give this game so much more character. And they all fit so perfectly in with the characters. And then it's just an excuse to put in more little bits of dialogue that foreshadow and like, um, and connect to other parts. And of course you have the choice between doing um, the events with B and the events with Greg. And I like seeing how, even though you didn't do the events in your first playthrough, that um, you can still you can still see how they progress, even without you doing them, and I like that a lot. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So, like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me. Why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like, these days I mostly work all the time, but... Why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? Uh, a year or so now? That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Hmm. I'm trying to remember which one we asked and what kind of line of questioning we took when we talked to Greg in, I think it was the third event in the first playthrough. Why Bright Harbor? Oh, mate, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. Yeah, we've heard the tattoo story. What? Yeah. Your sheep tattoo. Is that a sheep? Yeah. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Ah, oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. 
That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh, ooh! I wanna push the button, let me push the button, let me do it! Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh god. This site smells even worse. I hope whatever was living in here, in this hole... Uh, okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it! Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it! Okay, 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 okay. Push the button. Yeah! Man, we are just going for like 100% electric shock playthrough, huh? Yeah! Whoa! Ah, it lives! What the? Hey, Angus. I. Whoa! Hey, Angus. How's it going, mate? Good, I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while, if that's okay. Okay. Amazing. I freaking died tonight, but Greg rules, okay. Doing this and going back and seeing these events again makes me want to play through the game again and dedicate an entire playthrough to doing one character's events, because it feels like some of the dialogue carries over between events. So we learned about Greg's tattoo in Bright Harbor in this one, which I think we learned that in the third one beforehand, or in the first one beforehand. So I feel like there's definitely value in doing all of the events for each character in a single playthrough, and you would get more out of that. Um, and it just goes to show like how much effort went into building these characters and that's why I like games that have a relatively small cast of characters like this, because you can put so much time and effort into building up those characters and putting a ton of detail into them. And it gives the game so much replay value as well. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this game, even now, even after completing it, um, and just doing a little bit of extra stuff. So that's going to do it for now. In the next part, we will do the last event, which is another one with B, and then we will try and move on to see the other things that we didn't see in our first playthrough. Until then, thanks for watching and take care. Hey May, are you alright? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Ah, I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. Hey punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my food on frame, and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to thank you. So, I think that means he likes it. Alright, dude, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Hey, mate. You awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are all terrible. But if they were good, I'd, uh, I'd like actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best.